I trail this back in the shop. It's good to come back to the yard with this. This is the damage they did. I parked in loading dock. And we have to drop the tra the tractor and park in a tractor parking. And the guy was next to me on the driver's side and he hooked up and pulled out and he took a sharp right and hit my trailer and collapsed the landing gear. And a bit uh, it's big damage here. It rippled this whole side. This corner here got hit to the ground and ripped everything apart. So this is my goodbye to this trailer. This is 1300. You'll see my head cam. I um, put a lot of love in this trailer. Mud flaps, and stickers, and really got it going. This is the one I showed you about the chains and all that. And I got to the yard. I just put some drums underneath it. He hit right here and pushed this whole trailer over and it collapsed the landing gear. And I'll show you videos of it and pictures. But the main thing about it is the landing gear got collapsed. Here's the reefer tank. And it smashed it all the way down. And the landing gear bent in. And the tow truck itself went ahead and uh, he pulled the landing gear back out. So I brought it back to Wisconsin. This happened in Utah. It's Smith Foods. And in so I had a big problem. I gotta get another trailer. It'll be T 1400, and that's the last time you'll see this one. But there's actually this is a piece that they broke off, um, and the bracket itself slammed into the floor and put a hole right in the floor here. And I had half a load of frozen, and I had to get that delivered. But this is the bracket that punched all the way through. And the tow truck itself went ahead. We pulled it back out and uh, got the one landing gear to to crank up, and the other side left it the, in the angle. And I delivered my two stops. You can see the hole itself. Big damage. But it's that one percent that makes us truckers look bad. And he didn't do good. He just sideswiped me and pushed this hole over. And I got a towing company to lift this up and get it on my tractor to bring it home. But this is the last days of this trailer. It was a really good one. It's a Wabash. And I'll be getting another trailer tomorrow. And I'll put my bulkheads and pallet jack and all that over there. But this is the goodbyes for T1300. And my other one was 1200. You can see through my head cams and my other videos, the days I put all love in here. Remember I put all the, the, the flag and all that. Once I get the other one, I'll do the same. But that's really I was ready to go for a good winter on this one. But it's just too bad that it happened. It happened so quickly. And they called me and said, go to door one, there's a problem. And I thought maybe he hit a light, but the whole thing was on the ground, collapsed. And there's my mud flaps, all that work I did in a quick second, now it's wrecked. And uh, the insurance will pay for it all because it's his fault. But it really is a stumper, so I didn't get my butter. I had to bring it home because you got a hole in the floor. Even when I dressed the tires, cleaned it all up, and then all of a sudden that happened. So I put the drums underneath here, and I just pulled out. The insurance company will have to look at this, but I'll show you the bracket here and see how it's stuck right in here. And the landing was down because you have to be in a tractor parking area, and this is Smith Foods in Layton, Utah. And you see how it just smashed down, and this was on the ground. There was no fuel leaking out, so that was a benefit. And it smashed everything up where the fuel lines ripped it all out. And I had a manual pump and the, and the reefer just to keep it down at frozen because it was all zero. But the bracket just broke right off. And I did this landing gear all the way up. This one I, I couldn't because it broke and 
in this line up here, so I just had the tow truck guy pull it. And this was out actually in where this was lifting the pallet straight up. It didn't damage any products. And so there's good stuff, but the insurance will take care of it. And this one here is its last days. We gotta leave it here for the insurance company to come here and look at it. That's just too bad. It was, and then I'll I'll show you the videos when when I think it collapsed. But there's my ladder and chains. We're gonna move it all over to my next trailer. And we just got it. We just bought it from um, um, Wisconsin Badger, and they have a good uh, company there that sells used ones. And uh, that one's got the skirts on the side, so it'd be really nice. But this is it for 1300. But this is a big damage where you can't save this. But once insurance scraps this, then we'll be the first bid to buy it. And hope it's cheap enough because we'll take this reefer off. And uh, here's my 1200. This one's a real nice one. This one is a Great Dane. I like this better. Wabash is really like sailboats. But now I'm going to get 1400. And we have one that's 1100, and we're going to put this reefer on that. That'll be our backup trailer. But this is my old 1200. I really like this trailer. I have a crack weld on the box, so I really can't use this. But I really like this trailer. It's one of my favorite ones here. But, as you can see, I always put my love in it. All the caps and mud flaps. And in the back door, I always put a Marine Corps sticker in the back. But this is a nice trailer. I really like this one. I miss it a lot. But the airbags were leaking, and when I looked at the box, the, the box is cracked. And those boxes cost about $16,000. And we used to get them in auctions and all that, but this is Badger State Western. This is where we get um, the trailers. They, they gave us a good deal. If not, you go to auctions and buy them used and then just put all your love in it. And it's real nice. But this 1300, you can see all my videos on it. But that's it. I brought it home. That's it. And I'm just really sad because I really wanted to run this for another winter. But part it out. Might have to insurance we'll look at everything and that's all we can really do. And uh, even put in my little chrome light and stuff. But it's sad to see this go. In my next videos you'll see when I was at Leighton when um, we filmed it and you can see the tow trucks and all that there to pick it up and get it on my tractor. Mm -hmm.